Hi, this is Steve, the developer of QuickSeps Professional, and this is the latest addition to our program which adds custom registration marks in eight different sizes to any form of color separation or file. Now, the type of registration mark it adds is here, which is, you know, the standard registration mark that we all know. The problem with Adobe Photoshop is by selecting add register marks, you know, at output, well, those register marks it adds are, aren't very screen print friendly. They're kind of small and they're more or less engineered towards offset printing and, and other forms of media. So we did something about that. Let's close this window and take a look at a file and the actions. Now, I've already loaded the actions here and it contains two somewhat identical sets. The top set generates registration marks from a quarter inch to an inch and a half and so does the bottom, but there's one big difference. The top set would be used if your file had the RGB channels intact. So if you saw RGB at the top of your color separation, you would run these. In this file here, we do not have any RGB channels, so we would run one of the actions you know, on the, uh, the bottom half of the actions palette, which clearly state no RGB. Now, just by the reference of RGB or no RGB, this does not mean that it can't be used with CMYK process separations, index separations, spot color, grayscale, so on. This works on anything. In fact, the, it comes with a 12-page manual, which is very simple, that explains everything in detail, exactly how it's used. So let's add some registration marks to this file to show you just how simple it is. Let's turn off the shirt background, and let's add one-inch registration marks to each corner by clicking the action here. In about 10 seconds, you'll see this message box prompting you to shift-click each color within your separation after clicking stop. Let's click stop, and now we'll shift-click each color within our file. After doing so, you'll notice that the action that we clicked has now been highlighted as red. Now we're going to click that red highlighted action one more time. Now registration marks have been added to each channel. After doing so, if you think that they're too large or too small, simply go to your history palette, click the top link in your history palette, which will eliminate everything that the action has done, go back to your actions, and now let's run one and a half inch registration marks, which are the largest available. We'll go through the same routine of shift clicking each one of our channels and then clicking the highlighted red action. And now one and a half inch registration marks, and believe me, you won't need them any bigger than this, has been added to each channel within the color separation. Now if your source file had your image going out to the edges and left no room for registration marks to be added, all we would have to do is to make the canvas size a little bit bigger. Now, If you're not totally certain how to do that, the manual covers that in detail. There's also some online help here called About Registration Marks that explains everything uh, that the program you know, can do and will do for you. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.